Well, I didn't really, I don't have to say that much about the post and the pre and whatever. Yes. Mm. Oh, yeah, there's iced tea in the trunk. Oh, yes, I need a, yeah. You want that? The keys are from yeah. Now we're going to get you all in the spirit so you see a gallon of tea in the backyard uh, and these comes in. I mean, the back of the car. <laughs> Lift your hands to the Lord. Hallelujah. When you lift both hands, that means victory. Hallelujah. You got the victory. Thank God we got the victory because of what? The blood of the Lamb and our testimony. Our testimony that Jesus is Lord. Now we got a little celebration. I went to the store and I got some balloons. They, I don't know what happened. They were just a big, they were all tied together, so I bought them all. Hallelujah. And they weren't very expensive. Today is Richard's birthday. Can you imagine? <laughs> the Lord birthed him on Valentine's Day. We don't need the rest of the story. Thank you. <laughs> this is the only day I can be bad to Richard. So, it's his birthday. But he came to a great miracle. He was sort of a replacement for one God decided to take to heaven. Isn't God good? Come on, how many of you believe he's good? Listen, there was a flowing river of wine here for a moment. What happened to it? Did I kill it? Come on. Hallelujah. Now, we don't usually go with all these little facts, but God wants us to be real and he wants us to be free. God wants everyone to be free. I'm putting gas at Costco in my car. Now I want you to all catch this. All these people have to get out of their cars to put gas in their car. And, and, you know, they're looking down, and they're pulling their hats over their face, like, because everybody's looking at them. But you want to be free, that when you look up, honey, there's a light in you. Yes! Come right. on, that yes. reveals truth, wherever you are, you don't have to say anything. And I see this all the time, I see them kind of pull the hat around and keep on walking, or they sit beside you on the plane, they kind of hold a hand like, this. excuse me. And I thought, brother, there's no excuse. Come on. We're going to talk while you're sitting here. I'm going to get you into heaven. I'm going to tell you about God's program. We're going to make wise use of this time because you can't get off this plane. Hallelujah. You've got to make everything joy and unspeakable and full of glory. Listen, are you listening to me? Yesterday, I don't know what happened. It was like the Lord put something in me and pushed the button. And... Everywhere I went, things fell in my hands just like that. People Amen. were waiting for me, parking spots, oh, wow. everything. There were angels all day long helping me Ooh, to get where yeah. I was going. Wow. And everything. And I had a schedule yesterday until 3 this morning. Ooh, wow. Yes, and up again at 6 o'clock, starting again. But I want to tell you, let God be with you. Amen. Let Amen. him be with you in everything. Let the Spirit guide you. Yes. And you're, you're suddenly, the first thing you put your hands on is what you're supposed to buy. You don't have to keep looking. Are you listening? Amen. God knows what you're there for. He said, my eye will guide you. I will help you. And then you come home, and you're laughing and crying, and everybody wonders what, what is happening. Oh, God has been with you. You've been yes. moving in a romantic flow all day long. We're not making fun here. God's wanting people to fall in love with him. Yes. Fall in love with Jesus. It's the greatest thing you'll ever do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The great, and I came home, and I was telling Dee, I said, I'm I went into Costco, and I was getting ready to get a basket, and a man came running out with his basket. And I knew he wanted somebody to take it, and he wheeled that thing right into my hand. That was just one of those moments, you understand? Now, some of you don't understand what I'm saying to you. I'm saying God wants to give you a Valentine's Day like you've never experienced. You've been waiting all your life for your sweetheart to do something. And he's about to do it and recognize it, recognize it. We celebrate this day. We don't usually do it in this fashion, but because it's Richard's birthday. But we celebrate this day because there was a priest in Ireland that wanted to marry this young couple. They were like 17 or 14. And the church didn't want him to do it. He did it anyway, and they killed him. So we celebrate. His name was Valentine. We celebrate him. And Pat Robertson celebrates him. So I think, you know, he's a little more remarkable. We can trust him. So... We're celebrating Valentine's Day. Look at all the people. The stores were packed yesterday for people wanting to give, you know, a heart or something. I'm so glad to get out of Costco. 
There are people wherever. Almost running over top of me. It was like that all day long. But God just had me on his roller coaster. Come on, how do you want to get on his roller coaster? I want to get on it. I want to get on it. Got a seat saved for you. A seat saved. And we don't usually talk in these earthly terms. You read the Old Testament, it, it, it takes a little prayer fasting, doesn't it, to understand what they're saying? If you have a King James Version? Yeah. So we want to hear some lofty words. Lord, fill our, you said you'd fill our mouth with good things. Yes. Good things. Yes. Honey, you said yes. just yes. I'll put honey in your mouth and I'll cause your eyes to see. That's what it means when you eat honey. It means when the things are sweet. They're sweet like he is, then your eyes are open. Your eyes get open. Can you catch that for a moment? Yeah. You suddenly see things that you've been trying to find out what God was saying for years. And a revelation of truth comes. You know why? Because the outer man has been broken. Yes, it's not the inner man. It's the outer man has to get broken. And when that breaks, then revelation just flows. It's like you hear God. You hear him. You feel him. I've been conscious of him in my house. Three or four times I was like this this week because I realized he's standing in my house. Come on, he's standing somewhere around you. And he says, eat. Take it and eat. He said, when you took communion, take it and eat. And when you just take that little wafer and that wine, and he's trying to put the wine in his wine we've never tasted before. How many believe me this morning? New wine. And so if you act a little silly somewhere outside, I'm not trying to be cute. Anybody ask you what happened? They asked me that over in in Olive Garden. They want, you know, they want to give you wine or drink before you start. Would you ladies, it's usually for like some something to drink. We said, oh, we've already had something to drink this morning. Amen, amen. And the man said, I can tell. I can tell. I can tell. The manager walks over and he said, I don't know why I'm saying this to you. I never talk to any of the customers like this. But he said, I've never seen two ladies like you before. And I wanted him to describe it, but I was scared to. But he said, I just I just wanted to tell you. He said, I've never met two ladies. He was trying to define what he met. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And then God will get set you free. He wants to set you free. He wants a freedom in you that you can demonstrate it and talk and express the beauty of the Lord in your life. Yes. How many want the beauty to be? And you yes. hold his beauty. Yes. The beauty of the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, and then you, the favor starts to come. And then you start singing, I have found favor, the favor of the Lord. Yes. Yes. Listen, this is what this day and hour is all about. Hallelujah. You save the best for last. Yes. Amen? Yes. Can you say amen? The best is for last. Yes. Yes. You can laugh with him because the sun is shining. Come on. The sun is shining every day. Every day. Every day. Every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. It's sweeter. It's sweeter. That's why he does something new every day. Come on, every day. Every day. Hallelujah. And get up. Don't get up rubbing your eyes and all. I don't feel like getting up today. Lord Jesus, you got something to say. Let's say it. Yes. Let's yes. hear it. I'm talking real here to you. Come on. Hallelujah. Let's hear it. Let's hear what he has to say. I felt him by my bed the other night. I'm feeling it more and more. And I said, I'm awake, I'm awake. You don't have to nudge me. Oh, you don't have to rock this bed, Lord. Anybody ever had a shock treatment? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you better wait. Nobody's ever had a shock yeah. treatment? Yeah. Come on, yeah. honest people. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> He'll come in the middle of the night, and then we don't we ignore him. If you suddenly you feel like he plugs you in. <laughs> plug it in, plug it in. That's something I want to share with you, I want to say to you. Now, let's gather this into a bouquet right now. God has saved the best people for last. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Give me some of that best music, Richard. The presence of Jehovah is in this room. Thank you, Jesus. So he saved the best. So if you feel like you're a little old, he's ancient, honey. Troubles vanish. 
hearts amended in the presence yeah. of the King. on television this week. I've caught a little here and I just have to turn this on or turn that on. Found out some wonderful things. Sh Ham, Sham, and J-Pass were triplets. Yes. Isn't that wonderful? Born at one time. And it was a sign he was ready to build the ark. God's got little signs for many of you. He's giving you dreams. You keep having occurring dreams. He's trying to tell us something. And all the word is tied together. And it's about your life and my life. What God is going to do. And I just want to read a little thing, to, a little note to you. When I was studying prayer. God's doing things differently. How many of you know that? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. yes. What you depended on yesterday won't work today. Yes. Hallelujah. You know that mean you know why he does that? So people will seek the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> seek the Lord. But once the outer man is broken, you say, well, well, how do we get how do we get how do things how do we get broken? Things just happen. Yeah. Yeah. That you wish they had. He takes your dearest friend away. The thing that you love the most, he had, he asked you to give it away. But once that outer man is broken, the spirit abides in the presence of people, the spirit of God, without ceasing. You just know things. You know. There's a knowing in the glory. Yes. A knowing. Let the ease of it come forth, the ease of the glory will bring peace in every situation. If we can tell you, Dee and I can tell you what's happened from, what, yesterday at 1 o'clock until today, we won't print it. Crazy things. Hallelujah. So God's got the best glue in the world to put things together. <laughs> Let the 
the Spirit begin to flow through the outer man. Let it be open to others. Hallelujah. So he's doing it differently. He's had seals on things for years, but he's removing the seals. Hallelujah. The Ancient of Days. All of your days. With all of his ways. Come on. The Ancient of Days. And there will be some patterns and some things. He had a pattern all through the Word of God. The tabernacle is in us now. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. And the day is upon you, and it should be now. Here's what's going to happen. You're going to be crying more than laughing. Yeah. Wow. Because of the goodness of the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. It's going to be the goodness. Wow. This goodness is going to come upon Hallelujah. you. Exactly. And you know what? You'll feel so unworthy when it comes. Yes. Because he's good. He's good. He's good all the time. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. So he wants to bring a newness in our spirit. Something that's new. You can smell the newness. You can smell the goodness of the Lord. He's going to let us smell his fragrance. More and more. Because he's revealing more of his character and his nature. Yeah. To you and me. How many want that? Yeah. And you won't want to stay the same way. No. You won't. Like You'll write notes to Jesus all day long. I don't like myself today. Let's have something new. I'm serious. I got a lot of notes I've written. shopping and buy new clothes. I'm just telling you. Nothing will catch your eye but his presence. Come on. His face. His beauty. Thank you, Jesus. You'll be thanking him for the new day, everything. You'll thank him for the rest, for the strength. You're going to start doing wonderful miracles right before your eyes. Whose name was it? It was in the book. I had the gold all over it the other day. Who was that? And the other person. And the other person. It was a brand new book. And I, opened it, I said, look, it had gold all over it. <laughs> God's making gold. You know how he makes Woo! gold? He gets the furnace hotter. Yeah. Come on, I want to tell you, a lot of people don't believe that. But gold is what refines. Thank you for the chance high refines. Refine, oh, yes. refine us, Lord. Refine us. Refine us. You said you're the refiner's fire and the fuller's soap. You know, I've never heard anybody preach on those scriptures. Anybody know those scriptures? Yeah. Refiner's fire and the fuller's soap. Hallelujah. 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 